before we get into it, um, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. Yay! Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Balisa M and welcome to this chit chat get ready with me. I don't really have anywhere to go but I wanted to do my makeup and answer some questions. Um, I left a question box in my Instagram stories and I asked you guys to ask me um, anything you might want to know like right now currently in my life. And the questions are not sorted. Um, I'm just going to answer them as is. I'm not really going to talk you through the products, but if you have any questions about products, please let me know in the comment section. I think, let's get right into it. The girl made it to 5k and we're still growing. I'm still learning, but honestly, I'm enjoying this journey so much. Sharing things with you. I've built a little community of women i want to say women but i've also got guys that watch my video and i get so much feedback and positive critique like it's been amazing and i cannot wait to see what the future holds next for this channel if i keep looking down it's because i have the questions on the phone and i'm just reading them from the screen the first one is so how long have you had your hair um i've had long hair for as long as i can remember like my hair's always just been long and then i think in grade five my mom cut my hair because um my hair was coarse uh we didn't really know how to take care of it and yeah it was just untidy so my mom cut my hair when i was in grade five and then after that because a lot of people told me i looked like a boy and they were calling me with my dad's name i decided i'm going to learn how to care for my hair and that's where the love for hair came from. The experimenting with coconut oil and all these other oils as well. So yeah, I've had my hair all my life. I do get it cut at the ends when I feel like it's getting a bit too long. But I'm not doing that anymore. I'd like to see how far I can grow my hair. <laughs> the next one. Not really a question. But it says, someone is crushing on you. Um, dear someone. Um, please come forth because have you guys seen the love pimples that people get uh, from secret crushes and stuff and it's normally on your nose so I do not want to get that dear someone please come forth and <laughs> reveal yourself who is crushing on me the next question is are you in a relationship did I miss something am I in a relationship <laughs> Dear Anonymous, I'm going to call this person Anonymous. The last time I checked a sweetie, I was, I am, not I was. The last time I checked, I am happily married um, for the last, how long have we been married? Five years, yes. I've been happily married for the last five years. I hope that answers your question. How has 2021 been? Dear Obi? 2021 has been quite the year it's been tough but it's also been quite good um a lot of lessons i started i restarted therapy again in the beginning of this year and it was going really well and then um i got disrupted with my therapy sessions like i got a bit busy and stuff but also i started feeling like i was using therapy as a crutch so i decided no let me use um what i spoke to her about and if i become overwhelmed then i will go in for more sessions but i've been doing okay i haven't had any like serious depressive episodes i've been doing quite well 2021 has been amazing in terms of my relationship with god like getting to know god and um starting to listen to what he says i i should do as much as i'm scared most of the time because i'm very scared if you've watched my other videos i have mentioned that i'm afraid of change and i'm afraid of the unknown like i don't like not being in control that freaks me out and obviously i'm not in control of my life god is in control so in 2021 i embraced that that um i don't have to belong anywhere 
uh, I don't always have to do things to fit in type of thing I'm getting to know me I'm learning what I like and what I don't like you know I'm staying true to me I'm also accepting the fact that I'm not going to I'm not going to be invited everywhere but also that I don't have to go everywhere that I'm invited and yeah I think that's 2021 in a nutshell if you could create recreate one special memory which would it be that would be the birth of my son I would love to recreate that because at that time um, I was going through a very difficult a very difficult time in life like uh, yeah it was a very hard time in life but also my son is a rainbow baby and if you don't know what that is that is a baby born after a miscarriage and when I found out I was pregnant it was exactly 12 months after I, I lost the the first uh, child and I was scared and I think that would be the the more familiar thing to be I was very scared so I didn't take pictures I didn't do maternity shoots I didn't want a baby shower but my friends and my husband coerced me into doing a little something it wasn't big we literally had dinner and they bought me gifts and I can't tell you how I'm grateful for that because I've got pictures from that and it really made me feel like special so if I could recreate something it would be that like I think if I could go back I would I would celebrate like the birth of my child I would relish in the pregnancy you know it was it, it should have been a celebration and for me I was just scared but yeah if there was one thing i could recreate that would be the moment to to capture everything when are you planning on giving Jose a sibling <laughs> joyce please listen to me and please listen to me clearly i've got pressure from it to, not even pressure shame it's not pressure Jose has started asking for a sibling so about i think it was two months ago he started mommy sister and i was like okay no i brushed it off his dad was on the phone to one of the grandmothers and he went daddy's sister and i thought i was pregnant and i took a test and the test came out negative when i picked him up from school the other afternoon he said call daddy and i called his daddy and he said daddy can i have a sister so i feel like my son wants a sibling like my son really wants a sibling and yeah i just I don't know man they say you, you'll never be ready to have kids and i understand that but there's just certain things i want to have in place before i have my next one but i think i'm quite ready how do you handle conflicts or disagreements in your marriage so one thing you should know about us is i'm the malcolm like i'm i'm the hard head i'm the crazy one i'm the one with the loose spanner that's me my husband is the calmest person like he's calm and also he doesn't give in to my vices like my, my husband knows i get worked up very quickly so he'll just be there like hmm, okay and then when i realize what i've done i'm gonna come back and then we're gonna sit down and talk about it and you know have an understanding about it so now i've learned why waste all this energy freaking out and and, and when i can just sit down and talk to him about it i think my husband grounds me like he sort of earths me like take a deep breath okay now you can okay this and this upset me or i don't agree with this and this in in a calm manner would you ever go natural no ma'am mm -mm. um i remember i was trying to transition at some point so i let my hair stay unrelaxed for about eight months and when i tried to comb through that growth that is where the decision came that i will never and i mean ever um, go natural natural hair is just not for me i feel like it's too high maintenance natural hair constantly needs attention and and you know i feel like yeah i'm well versed and experienced in relaxed hair so that is where i will stay how would you advise someone who is struggling to go go back or get back into their faith so i struggled with this um a lot like I struggled with this a lot and the reason why I struggled with this a lot was because 
um, comparison. You know, you would see how other people's relationship with God is. You would see how other people pray. You know, the people who pray in tongues or the people who recite Bible verses and things. And for me, that would be like, yo, like, um, I'm at a disadvantage because I wasn't raised in like a religious family. You know, my parents were of different um, churches both christian but they were of different churches and the beliefs were like on polar opposite ends of um the radar so what i decided was that i would explore and that is exactly what i did and because i went to boarding school i was exposed to many different churches and you know, there were aspects of each church that I liked. And I decided that my religion or my relationship with God wouldn't be based on a church. It would be like a spiritual thing. But I still do like to go and like worship in church with other believers. Every relationship with God is like difficult. And what I realize is sometimes we go through seasons like now. I think everyone is like tired. The year has been a lot. And... I don't know man like we've been through so much this year that you sometimes feel like you don't you can't find the words to pray so what what I have started doing is I've just started having conversations with God we often have this thing where you think your relationship with God must be like strict you know yes God is superior but God is a parent you know treat God like you would treat your mom it's so easy for you to walk out of the door from this room and walk into the next door and literally go, Mama, but you know this and this happened or this and this guy broke my heart and, 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 and. So that is how I would suggest you get back into it. I literally have conversations with God while I'm driving. Um, the biggest conversation that I've had with God this year is God, I'm scared. Like literally almost every day I will wake up and I will feel anxious about something that I have to do. I have to shoot a video. God, I'm scared. Um, I have to try and write a proposal. God, I'm scared. Someone very dear to us um, taught me that um, to have a conversation with God, it doesn't mean that I have to kneel down or stop the car and close my eyes. And, and. you can literally say prayers throughout the day. He said that you should you should pray for everything when they say involve god in everything involve god in everything you're going grocery shopping father stretch these rands let me find specials keep me safe on the road um let me find the freshest food or the freshest chicken like literally praying for everything i know it sounds silly but honestly he made an example with the bank like he was going to the bank and he prayed and he said lord i'm going to the bank i need to do a quick in and out please help there that there be no lines or if there are any lines jesus please help them keep moving quickly and i was like wow so that that is what i would suggest sit down with god um tell him how you feel what's your favorite bible verse um i don't i have a favorite for seasons right and there's this one verse Make it your goal to live a quiet life, minding your own business and working with your hands, just as we instructed you before. <laughs> Please do vlogmas. And um, by the time this video goes up, I would have uploaded at least one or two videos for vlogmas because y'all bullied me into doing vlogmas. But it's all right. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> What's your advice for a person who is gathering? confidence to start a youtube channel my advice for someone who is going to start a youtube channel or dreaming of starting a youtube channel start you have a phone start um you don't even need a tripod we started putting our phones against objects you know and here we are I started my YouTube channel on my phone, right? Before I started, I asked myself, why? Why do I want to start a YouTube channel? And I sat down, and because I write, I like writing things down, 
I I wrote down my reasons for wanting to start a YouTube channel and that was my why I wanted to show people how to revive wigs you don't have to throw your wigs away wigs are expensive YouTube was also an outlet for me because we were like in lockdown and I needed an outlet so YouTube became an outlet for me obviously we all want to get monetized obviously we all want to like we all want to um, get brand sponsorships and free wigs and and but those should be at the back end because should you stop getting wigs and should you stop getting sponsorships there should be a reason why you want to continue with your youtube channel so have a strong why then after that you need to i know they always say this you need to have a niche and and my niche would be hair and how I identified my niche is because my hair videos do better than all my other videos on my channel. Does that mean I'm going to stop um, doing the other categories of videos? No, I am not. Why? I am attracting a broad base of an audience. So I will have people who like vlogs on my channel. I have people who like um, the hair content. I have people who like the the weight loss content i know i'm not consistent with that but when i do share them there are people who watch that like gathering subscribers is not easy for some of us and for some people you just blow up overnight and that's wow lucky you you know but that's just how it is but i would advise you to start even if it means getting three views on your first video the most important thing would be that you started i get anxious I literally don't sleep the night before I have to put up videos if you think I'm lying ask my husband um, the night before I have to put up a video I am not sleeping I am awake I am editing I'm checking music and 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 I still edit on my phone by the way and I'm still putting out YouTube videos so that's why I'm saying just start you can learn everything about YouTube on on YouTube like everything you need to know about starting a channel and filming on your phone and 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 literally on YouTube that's where I learned so yeah just start stop saying get la get la start now there's never going to be a perfect time for you to start your channel so I would highly advise that you start now why wait when you could be learning and improving on your craft I'm just saying What's the most important lesson or lessons you've learned in 2021? I think I, I touched on that earlier, but something very important I learned is that I need to show up for myself, okay? Like, I need to show up for me, and I need to do it consistently. So there are days where you're going to feel like you don't want to show up, and that's okay, like, that's really okay, but don't stay in the funk, you know don't stay in the funk wake up do what you need to do and try to wake up and try for me it's weight loss um well the eating i can do healthy eating or clean eating no problems but tell me about exercising like you guys i don't know what i need to do to gather the the discipline to exercise consistently every day and to show up for myself I need to put money away I need to save so currently I am saving 50% of my YouTube checks so YouTube pays me between the 21st and the 26th of every month and you have the option of not taking your money out of YouTube um, until it reaches a certain amount I opted not to because when it sits in um, AdSense you don't gain interest so I take my money out 50% goes into a fixed savings 50% 50% will then be divided into 10% goes to type and um, the other 40% then I will see what needs to be done like creating content for YouTube, buying things, equipment, um, makeup, whatever, going out YouTube is now paying for me to create its own content type of situation and yeah I just touched on type I remember I think it was after after I received my Google AdSense pins, um, I got a word. 
from God uh, about my tithing and I decided to start taking it very seriously so now 10% of everything and I mean everything my wife allowance um, my YouTube income my salary um, sales from the business um, tips from the business whatever whatever comes into my bank account 10% of that will immediately get transferred um, to uh, the ministry which serves me and I will elaborate more on that in the life update video I shouldn't wait for things to be perfect before I start wanting to like do things I remember I'd said I'll start posting like full body pictures on my Instagram when I've lost weight and when my body is right and tight and I realized I'm wasting time I should start now because then I'm learning my angles and I, I'll be learning what works for me and what doesn't work for me so that when my body is right and tight then I already know that I can just run with it and yeah now I'm not waiting because life is very short I think in the times that we're living in life is so short you are so beautiful how do you keep your face smooth and clear so I have an episode of vlogmas i'm not sure if it's going to be out by the time you see this or if it's still coming up and i show you my skincare routine i do have a whole playlist on my youtube channel for videos of my skincare what i do to my skin how i cleared my acne the products that i use i have all of that on my youtube channel drink your water I'm a green smoothie girl. I drink green smoothies almost every day. I try to I try to eat healthy and I try to eat clean as well. You know, I try. But yeah, ever since I stopped sugar, I think that's where that's where it changed for me. Um cutting out the sugar. I do still have sugar, but in small doses. But yeah, when I reduced then that is where my skin took a turn for the positive someone says i'm so adorable oh thank you so much i appreciate that um i'm starting to believe that your skin looks so beautiful did you change or add different products thank you thank you bassy and what what i added to my skincare routine is sheet masks so it's not of a particular brand I use brightening sheet masks and I'm all for hydration so anything that says hydration a hydration sheet mask favorite one being the blue one from Sobe you can get it at clicks um, the pink one from Ponds I also like that one I added the Iwori hydrating toner to my routine because like I said I'm all for hydration I love your work your content and you thank you so much like i always say that it's so reassuring for um for people to to tell you that they love what you were doing because being okay i don't i don't i'm not an influencer or a content creator i don't know what to call myself um yeah but there's a lot of doubt you know uh, especially because it involves building a base like building a follower base is like it's hard I will say because you have to engage and you have to keep posting but also you're seeing what other people are doing I mean the big names are out here hiring photographers and you're here filming everything by yourself we are learning and we will get to being big but it's really nice to hear um, that you enjoy what I put out because if you didn't, why am I doing it? You know, I'm really, really thankful that um, you guys are enjoying it. I put a lot of hard work and hours into it. And yeah, man. How did you get over doubting yourself? Still haven't gathered the courage to advertise my YouTube channel. So there's no such thing as gathering courage for advertising a YouTube channel. Um, on Instagram, I feel like it's so easy for me because I just post and then I go and then I let it be. If I get responses, I get responses. If I don't, I don't. But people would have seen it. Also, you um, Instagram now has this great feature where um, you don't need 10k subscribers to 
be able to put your YouTube link. So I do snippets of my YouTube videos and I put them in my stories and I use that link feature. I was scared to share on Twitter about my YouTube channel and I think you guys would know her as Glamology ZA. This is Brenda. She was the one. She was sharing my stuff on Twitter. Then she asked me, why don't you share your stuff on Twitter? So there's a lot of people on Twitter that I know personally and I was just like, oh, what are they going to say and stuff and stuff. But now I share my link. Any opportunity to share my YouTube link, I will share it. People will always talk whether you're doing bad or good. Rihanna said it. And yeah, just do it, mama. Just share. Share your link. Share your link. What's the worst that could happen? People don't tap on that link. That's the worst. That, what's the best that could happen? You could gain so many new subscribers and uh, viewers for your channel. How old are you? I am 31. I had to count quickly. I'm 31 years old, turning 32 next year. Okay, um, 1990. Would you leave your full-time job for influencing? Mm, I was waiting for this one. Listen, how I feel now. Yes, I would. I think I've said it to my husband that um, if the opportunity presents itself, I want to become a full-time influencer. And yeah, I've put it out in the universe. But for me to actually leave my job, I feel like... Um, it should be a well-running machine. It should be well-oiled, you know. Obviously, I won't always have campaigns, but I want to have a nice little nest egg saved for when I don't have campaigns. I would actually love the opportunity to do um, being an influencer full-time. It's not only about the campaigns, but also the confidence. Um, not the confidence, the discipline. Being a full-time influencer takes discipline. On some days, I don't want to create content. I just want to sit and I just want to rest because I'm tired. But there's editing. There's taking pictures for Instagram. There's creating thumbnails for YouTube. Like there's a lot of work. Sending out your media kit. Um, emailing companies for hair. Uh, and that starts as early as 3 a.m. Because of the time difference. I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, that just gives me a head start. I'm an early riser. Answering emails. I'm editing pictures. I'm planning my feed. Like... You know, I'm writing down video ideas. I'm researching video ideas. There is a lot of work that goes into it. That's why they tell you don't do it for free. Because with so you're spending so many hours on your craft. And now people want you to do it for, for free. So build your base and then start charging so you can make that shmoney, honey. Where is your favorite place to go on vacation? So I've only recently started... Um, like traveling if i can call it that and that is in sa we've been to botswana the borders were closed but um botswana is also a place that um i love to visit that trip was very nice for me and my husband does want to like go back so yeah um been to listen to as well that was great i want to go to swaziland i haven't figured out my favorite place i think i haven't traveled enough to say i have a like a favorite place what is my favorite tv show so i don't have like a favorite favorite tv show but the genre of tv shows um trash tv reality tv has me like i love watching like reality television love 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 watching reality tv how many shoes do you have i don't know what was your favorite childhood toy? It was a backpack from the Lion King. And it had like a zipper on the tummy. It was Simba. And I think my mother still has that at her house. How many kids do you want? Could I have... Um, I wanted f three. My husband wanted one. We negotiated to two. So yeah, two kids will be it for me. Unless God decides otherwise, because you know, we make our plans, but God is sitting up there laughing like, mm, child, if only you knew. Okay, so I put on a shirt and we are going to continue with the questions while I zoot through my makeup because I am running late. What's the last movie you cried to? Mm -mm, I don't think of a movie I... 
So I haven't watched any movies that have made me cry recently. Um, I haven't been watching movies lately. Have you ever shot a gun? Yes, I have shot a gun. We went clay pigeon shooting um, in 20, 2019. Do you enjoy roller coasters? <laughs> At my big age, I have never been on a roller coaster, you guys. I know, um, at my big age, I have never been on a roller coaster. Heights are not my thing, honestly. Have you ever cheated? On who? Cheated on who? On my husband, no. Mm -mm. When I was dating, maybe. But I have never cheated on my husband, no. Um... Why would I do that? Like, don't you fear God? Why are you getting married to cheat? Um, what's the point? Yeah? What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is not accomplishing the things I want to accomplish. But also failing at the things that I want to accomplish. Also being rejected. I remember I used to pray for God to give me people to hang out with, like here in Bloom and stuff. As a result of the number of times I've been burned this year, um, I've taken back that prayer. I've, I've said to God, I'm okay. Um, my friends will have to do the ones I have. And although they are far away, um, yeah, technology makes it easy to like talk to them and stuff. And that is enough for me. What is your pet peeve? Um, Non-reciprocation of efforts. <clears throat> If I do something for you, I'm not expecting you to do the same thing, but I would like you to put an effort into me as well. So um, non-reciprocated effort is one of my biggest pet peeves. Have you ever cheated on a test? No ma'am, no ma'am. We are all, I'm a very smart girl, okay? Believe it or not. What do you miss about being younger? <sighs> not having problems, not having to worry about who's paying what or how much money is in my bank account you know just living what is the most trouble you've been in i was suspended from hostel for two weeks um for something we didn't do and yeah your idea of a perfect day oh can i currently my perfect day would be a gorgeous airbnb somewhere on the beach in cape town you know with a chef and good music and hubby no kids or even just staying in bed, but it has to be the Airbnb with the gorgeous views and the lovely food from the chef. The um, massages. Yes, definitely massages. Coffee or tea? I'm a tea drinker. I don't even like the smell of coffee. Um, would you go to space? No, what am I doing there? God put me on earth. Where am I going to space? And that is that, y'all. This is my makeup look. Um, I just want to take my hair out and then I'll be back to tell you about the giveaway. Okay, baby. So, um, we are done with the look. So, it has been so much fun answering your questions. And I hope you've gotten to know me. I hope you've gotten the answers you were looking for. Um, thank you to those of you that left questions in the question box. Thank you so much for watching this video and most importantly, thank you for getting us to 5k subscribers. I wanted to do the giveaway now, but the wig that I want to give away is not yet in the country. I think it's still stuck in China with Deepex. So the giveaway is still on, but I will put it in one of my other videos and I will put all the details in that video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.